So welcome everybody into the bond portfolio. There's an awful lot to unwrap here and a lot of different schools of thought uh, at, at play here. When you're looking at bond investing, this is something that I've done previously with M1 Finance. It's a cool way of taking a relatively smaller amount of money and putting it to work in fixed income. A lot of schools of thought out there on this topic, and, and I'm one of them that, that believes that you know, bond investing and fixed income can actually be a detriment in your portfolio if it's not held in scale and you're not doing it with a very, very um, uh, specific goal in mind in what you're trying to get out of it. Now, as a self-directed investor, I do put a lot of value in idle cash. I believe that invested dollars that are invested in the market and making a higher than average rate of return because they are liberated and you don't subject your money to, uh, to any type of tax implication or fees over your money, that you're going to accelerate your wealth over time by allowing those dollars to grow unabated into the future. What do we do with the remaining cash? If you invest or you hold savings accounts or multiple savings accounts, the banks are taking your money and they're investing it in the stock market or whatever vehicle to garner uh, a higher than uh, average uh, interest rate on that money and then they're paying you pennies on the dollar for basically just uh, keeping your money with that institution. A lot of people have a misconception about savings account. They think that they've got <clears throat> a big pile of money sitting there at the bank and that's just not true. Um, it is it is the bank's um, uh, obligation to you to, to honor that amount uh, up to the FDIC uh, insured amount of 250000 per account. But outside of that, you don't have your money at the bank. Now, if you went in and you had a sizable amount and you had um, asked for a, a deposit, you'd be hard pressed to get your money on demand. Um, you'd have to schedule that. And, and it speaks to my um, understanding of, of the banking institution in that they are putting that money to work. And so to honor those obligations of people who go in and they need cash, very few, I might add, because a lot of people just buy into the piggy bank mentality and just keep their money for years uh, in the banking institution. The Vanguard bond ETF portfolio that I've constructed here allows me to uh, put some of those dollars to work and gar garner a higher than average uh, interest rate. This is uh, built right at about a 3% clip. Um, so this rate of return is about, uh, actually the dividend yield is about 3%. Um, I would expect to get a couple points of appreciation out of the portfolio. That's it. I'm not expecting magic out of this. Um, the idea here that is if I can maintain uh, the current uh, uh, pace of inflation, um, then basically I'm, I'm keeping my dollars growing uh, at the same rate as inflation is growing. And therefore, a certain small percentage of my uh, what would be idle cash on the side is now keeping up with inflation. And you might think, well, what's the point to that, Ryan? I think it just speaks to my insistence that having multiple diversified buckets across your portfolio are is super important. And there are going to be times of outperformance uh, in fixed income uh, in 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 time. And historically, the mixed portfolio has has shown us nothing but its ironclad ability to weather storms, go through recessionary periods in the stock market. And the importance of being partially levered to bonds, uh, if not uh, to adjust to bonds over over time, is super important. So we, 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 we scroll down here. I just want to show you guys where I've got these dollars allocated here in the slices. Um, these are um, spread out across a intermediate, short-term, long-term, and extended duration. Um, start at the bottom first. This is the extended duration. This is the smallest aspect of the portfolio. It is the only standalone extended duration ETF that I have here. Um, and I've got this uh, throttled at about a 10% clip in the portfolio, so it works well. Um, right above that, we've got both long-term uh, treasuries and then uh, long-term corporate uh, bond ETFs, so both on the long side, so about 21% between these two on the long side, uh, expiry on those, and then for the, um, oh, and I've got long, there's long-term corporate there. 
Um, so kind of cool. I, you know, got those three there on the long side. Uh, so 20, 33% there uh, on the long side. And then the short side got about 27% on the short side. So short-term bond and short-term corporate here. Nice little mix. You'll see the dollar amounts really aren't that robust. This can apply to the masses out there, which is what I always try to cross-check my message with, is that can somebody take my message and, and deploy and find a strategic niche uh, for, for you? And, and for a lot of investors, they may say yes or no, but for those investors that say yes, it's kind of interesting to see how I seek this. And then on the top end here with the intermediate term and corporate exposure here, at 15 a clip, so 30% uh, devoted here on the intermediate term bond. So very, very simple with a, uh, a, a description here. I will share this in the description uh, of this video as well as in the comments section below. Please understand if you do click on any of the links on anything in my channel, um, the channel can receive a small compensation for recommending um, this unique way of investing within M1 Finance. Remember the whole idea is to take a smaller amount of money Choose the assets that you want and let M1 do the rest. They will take and spread those dollars out across those assets and um, and, and allow you to be the investor that you want to be. So if you are looking for an alternative to a savings account, this may, uh, uh, may suit your needs. Uh, it does for me. And it's a very relatively small amount of the total overall portfolio. I think this is about oh, a, a quarter of the total value, a quarter of 1% actually. So a very small amount, um, but I thought I'd roll that out to you guys. And, and the strategic clip on this is uh, 50,000 to 100,000. I think uh, to have 10% at 100,000 on a million dollar portfolio is great. No time like the present to start it. And here it is. Um, this is the uh, first uh, rollout of this and we'll chronicle it throughout the history of the channel and, and we'll, we'll uh, check progress and see how it uh, fares uh, in good and bad markets and uh, it'd be a lot of fun to roll that out for you guys. Guys, I really appreciate you tuning in. We'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video.